Ooh, Kobe White's wide open. Kobe White for three. Let's fucking go. That's my point guard. Oh my god, Precious Achuo absolutely sends Baisley's shot to the moon. Ooh, pick and roll with Precious. Go up and get it, big fella. Go up and get it. Go up and fucking get it, big fella. <sighs> Precious is on fire, bro. Nobody on this team can fucking guard Precious. Get me someone that can guard him. How you doing? First question. Yeah. There's news that you have made a trade right before the deadline. Would you like to address that? Also, who was involved in the trade? Yeah. Um, I think now that it is done, I can officially confirm um, that we have um, completed and finalized the trade for um, Jaden McDaniels. I'm really excited to get him into the squad and get him into the rotation. Um, and as we spoke about at the last press conference, post-game presser for um, the Brooklyn Nets game, we really were lacking at the small forward position. So Jada McDaniels, I feel, is going to fill that role, and he can also play the power forward. He's a six foot nine beast, he averages 9.2 points per game on the season. He's an elite shooter, 40.2% uh, from three, and not too bad from the field either. He's pretty good from the mid-range, 46%. Uh, from the field really young 22 years old three years pro um i feel like he's always been pretty slept on since he came in the league um he's been cooking it up in uh, minnesota and he's really helped them become one of the better teams in the western conference the top four seed um he was really slept yeah he was really slept on in the 2020 draft he's late uh, first round pick the 28th pick so um, i'm really excited to get him out here um we had to give up some pieces uh, i had to do have the exact details of the trade here uh, we gave up Daniel Gafford, uh, Vernon Carey Jr., and Isaiah Todd. Um, I wish those guys the best. I feel like all three of them have a lot of potential. They're all very young, and I feel um, they wouldn't flourish in a backup role like they would get here. I can't guarantee and give them starting minutes, so um, I figured I would pick up a piece that really helps us out, and I would help out them by um, getting them into a situation where, a little bit, where they will get um, pretty good minutes. Yeah. You face another high-seeded Western Conference team today. How confident are you that you'll come out with the win? Well, you know, we always do got to stay confident. We got to stay um, humble. Um, but I feel we are in a good spot. Uh, we've really analyzed the film um, with Oklahoma City. And I think we have an understanding about how they play. Shea Gildas Alexander is an insane player. He's really took a huge leap into the superstar category this season. So. Um, I feel like it's going to be a fun game. The Thunder, obviously, they're a top four seed in the West for a reason. So um, we're not going to knock the Thunder. We're not going to underestimate the Thunder because at the end of the day, they're one of the best teams in the league. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all I can really say on that. Yeah. Your team seems to be sitting pretty atop the Western Conference. How confident are you that you'll be there come playoff time? Yeah. Um, I don't think us... Here in Vegas, I don't really think we're thinking about where we sit in the conference right now. Obviously, being the number one seed is huge, but I feel like to win a championship, you have to beat good teams. You have to fight with the best of them. Um, so regardless to win a championship, which obviously is the ultimate goal of being a team in the NBA, um, you have to beat some of the best teams. Like There are new teams out here. All of us are all top four teams in this Western Conference are newer teams to contending. Uh, you got the Thunder. Who, They've been in a rebuild for the last five years. Um, you got the Timberwolves, you got the Grizzlies, you got the Pelicans, like all teams that have been in rebuild mode as of late. And now we're all contending here at the top of the Western Conference. So I think we're going to have to go through really good teams regardless. So I don't think we're going to be ducking any matchup. Um, I think we're not really thinking too hard about where we're going to finish as long as we get into the playoffs. I think we'll have a good shot um, at winning it all. Yeah, one more question then. We got to get to the game. Yeah. There have been reports Michael Porter Jr. is <laughs> fed up with the team as of late. Care to address that? Um, he personally has not brought it up to me. So as of now, I do not, um, I do not, I am not aware of how he's feeling. But um, once he brings it up to me, I'm, I probably won't bring it out to the public because that would be business between um, me and Michael. So I don't really think... Even if he did tell me, I don't think I would like to um, air that out here uh, to the public. So 
Um, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. See you guys post game. possible I would like him for um, the Oklahoma City game uh, tonight so yep deal's done yeah I'm really excited too all right I gotta get to this episode all right bet bye, -bye. so we that was ownership we have got the okay to fly Jaden McDaniels out. I mean, y'all watched the pregame press conference. Y'all know we traded for him. Jaden McDaniels is now on the squad. A minus three point shooter. Not phenomenal potential, but he's already a 78 overall. Probably going to finish around a low 80. And then just so you guys know, I'm not pulling any stupid shit. Here is the details of the trade, which is what I said at the pregame press conference. Let me pull out my, let me pull out my notes for it. Um, for the press conference. Hold on. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Um, yeah, see, hold on. I don't know if you'll be able to read it, but other way. Gafford, Carey, Todd. So that's what I said at the press conference. That is the details of the trade. So we're not pulling any funny business. I know I did the trade off camera. I did it like literally right before I started recording this episode. But here are the final details of the trade. Gafford, Vernon, Carey Jr. and Isaiah Todd for Jaden McDaniels and Jared Vanderbilt. I'm going to be real. Jared Vanderbilt most likely will not get minutes for us because he is not great in 2K. So he really will probably just come on if we need some elite defense at the power forward or small forward position. But Jaden McDaniels is most definitely going to get some minutes for us. He's fresh. He's pumped. And to address my Michael Porter Jr. Um, being fed up, it's because oh, I'm out of breath. It's because he's actually fed up in game and he is feeling sluggish. So um, he may be on minute restrictions for this next game against the Oklahoma City Thunder, which is going to be a huge one. But first... I want to get into the all-star draft. I'm going to adjust the rotation manually before I do that. Jaden McDaniels, we're going to move him up into the rotation. Let's take some minutes from Mitchell, from Achua, and then give some to Jaden McDaniels. Now, with Dyson Dan or with when D holy shit, with Daniel Gafford and Vernon Carey leaving, that means Precious Achua is really going to have to embrace that start uh, backup center role, which I am confident he will. And I meant to trade Cole Anthony. But with the trade restriction rules, I am not allowed to trade Cole Anthony because he has been or he hasn't been here for the full 60 days, which is weird because I can trade Davion Mitchell, but I can't trade Cole Anthony. Make it make sense. I got Davion Mitchell in the last one. I guess I got Cole Anthony two episodes ago, I believe. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And then one more thing. Um... I got a comment. It's on a really old episode of mine, but um, let me figure. Let me let me let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Um, it's from my man C21VU, which he's been showing a ton of support uh, as of late. He said, "Yo, Rev, can you make my player an Adam in the upcoming all or upcoming draft? His name is Elton Cannon, 78 overall with all-star potential. He's a 6'9 small forward, slash point guard, LeBron type build with brown skin with the man braid bun hairstyle, beard, 18, and a full left arm tattoo." Holy shit. I'm going to do that, and that is going to open the door for more of my viewers to get your, a player of yours in um, in these drafts. So the next draft, it could be a bunch of subscribers if we get uh, enough subs to want their guys in here. But I mean, I can't promise that I'm going to um, give you actual, like if you want to be a superstar potential, like if you want to be the next LeBron, I can't guarantee I can make you the next LeBron because that would just be insanely overpowered. So I will make the build. Like I'll take one of these guys that are lower in the draft, like let's say Juan Nunez. No, I'm going to keep it real. I don't know who this guy is. And I'm going to make him the Elton Cannon. I'm going to make him Elton Cannon. I'm not going to say I'm going to give him all, -star. I'll give him a round all-star potential. Maybe like a, where Zach Levine's at now, that seems fair. Because there's already Amoni Bates, there's already Victor Wembanyama in this draft class, so I feel like that's just fair. And Elton Cannon has been created. He's only a C plus overall, but he has 88 potential. So he has the potential. His boom percentage is like 60 or 70 percent. So he's most likely going to hit the 88 overall, and his peak is around or his peak start is around 22, and his peak end is around 32. So he's going to have 10 years of greatness. 
So he's going to be a little bit of a sleeper pick. He's a small forward slash point guard, 6'9", uh, pass first wing. So this is Elton Cannon for my man, C21VU. So I feel like I'm stalling a little bit too much. I'm going to make a weird change to the starting lineup because my man Michael Porter Jr. is really exhausted. So I'm going to put Dyson Daniels into the starting five instead of him. We are playing a really, really um, important matchup against the Oklahoma City Thunder. But Michael Porter Jr. is feeling really out of it. So we're going to move him to the bench. He's going to get minutes still just really, really restricted minutes. And then Dyson Daniels is going to get his chance to start alongside Jovic. And then Jaron Jackson Jr. will be our number one offensive option, which... He's been proving he can handle, so we're going to roll with it with Jaron Jackson Jr. being that guy. Without further ado, we have the three-seed, oh no, all-star weekend. Hold on, we got the all-star draft. We got Giannis and Jokic as the two captains. We're going to auto-draft both of them. Do we have any all-stars? Oh, they hoeing us. They are hoeing us. We're the one seed in the West, and we don't have any all-stars? Bugging. So with that done, now without further ado, we're going to jump into the game against the Oklahoma City Thunder. We are at home. Shea Gilgis Alexander, they're one player over 85 overall. They're going to rock their city jersey. They're, they're one player over 80 overall, Shea Gilgis Alexander. We're not going to sleep on Josh Giddy. We're not going to sleep on Lou Dort. We're not going to sleep on Darius Baisley. I'm going to sleep on Derek Favors because I dead don't give a fuck about him. But Jovich, Jackson Jr., Kobe White, Michael Putter Jr. off the bench for this one because he's exhausted. Thunder Outlaws, we are in Vegas. Let's go. And we lose tip off once again. Shea Gildas Alexander. Oh, he's he's letting Josh Giddy create. Why does Josh Giddy look so pale? They got my man Josh Giddy looking so fucking pale, bro. Why are they hoeing him? They go to Derek Favors in the post. Wendell Carter Jr. on him. Shea Gildas Alexander wraps around. Shea, Shea, Shea. Oh, back out to Derek Favors to Baisley. Baisley, Baisley shoots a contested jumper over Jaron Jackson Jr. We get our first stop of the game. Kobe White in transition to Jaron Jackson Jr. We're going to go back to Kobe White. We're going to let him create here off the pick and roll. We're going to see if we can get a Wendell Carter, Kobe White pick and roll going. Kobe White pull up midi over Shea. It's a contested jumper. I thought maybe I could get a green animation off of it, but I could not. Lou Dort driving in on Jovic. He goes to Giddy in the post. Dyson Daniels is there. Dyson Daniels with the contest. Beautiful, beautiful stop. Let's go to Jovic. Are they going to guard Jovic at the perimeter? They are. Ooh, Dyson Daniels cut to the basket. Dyson Daniels gets Baisley jumping. Daniels working down in the post. You love to see Dyson Daniels working inside and expanding his game. He gets his first start, and he gets the first bucket of the night here against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And it's at the rim, which is something we're not used to seeing here. Shea Gilgis Alexander driving in on Kobe White. Shea Gilgis picking. Ooh, that's a good foul. But Oh, Jovic with the foul. I thought they were going to give the foul to Kobe White. Jovic picks up his first personal foul here early on against the Oklahoma City Thunder. I I read the pick and roll I helped with Kobe White or no I helped with Jaron Jackson Jr. I read the pick and roll with Derek Favors I assumed that um they would he would just pass it to Derek Favors and he would put up a dumb shot like they have been but I mean obviously they didn't and Jovic picks up his first foul Dort for three bang I'm gonna get a Wendell Carter pick and roll here Derek Favors oh Baisley with the help defense in those passing lanes Darius Baisley in transition to Giddy. Giddy with the dunk. He gives the Thunder a three-point lead. This young Thunder squad firing on all cinder cylinders offensively here out of the gate. Oh, I can't get Jaron Jackson Jr. Can I get you? Nah, I'm not going to pull that. Let me get a floppy. Let's get Dyson Daniels cooking here. Dyson Daniels floppy. Come on. Come on, Dyson. I need... Oh, Dyson Daniels. Dyson Daniels wide open for three at the wing. Late release. That's a toughie. I'm, I, I might have to change his jump shot, guys. I might have to change Dyson Daniels' jump shot because it is so bad. It is such an ugly jump shot, too. It's so slow. I mean, I get, I, I did say that's what balances him out is his jump shot. But, man, is that an ugly jump shot. And, man, is that ugly, or a hard jump shot to time. They're running out of this shot clock. Shea Gildas Alexander to Baisley in the corner. Jaron Jackson Jr. with the contest. They really wasted. <laughs> they wasted an entire shot clock, bro. Literally wasted an entire shot clock. Oh, we get the pick and roll with Wendell Carter Jr. Shea Gilgis Alexander lurking in the passing lane. One on one in transition with Dyson Daniels. Shea gives the Thunder a five point lead, the first two possession lead of this game. We're getting behind early. We can't allow ourselves to fall too far behind early on here. Dyson, Di oh, Dyson, 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 Dyson. Got to run a better floppy. Let's get a pick and roll with Wendell. Oh, we get it. Wendell with the mismatch on Shea. Can we get a post hook? No, we can't. Oh, Wendell gets his, oh, Kobe White's wide open. Kobe White for three. Let's fucking go. That's my point guard. 
So I don't play tight enough defense on Shea Gilgis and he pulls up in transition, making us look fucking stupid because I didn't step up to him with Kobe White. So, ah, that's tough. Ooh, we get Shea jumping. I was so late and Wendell's just standing in my way. Man, this is a tough offensive start, man. I literally had Shea Gilgis jump in and I was like, oh man, I got space. Dyson Daniels, please. Dyson Daniels. Shea Gilgis. Shea Gilgis, one-on-one -on -one with Kobe White. Shea Gilgis driving it on Kobe White. Shea Gilgis. Shea. Shea. Oh, my God. Fadeaway gets stuffed by Jaron Jackson Jr. Pause. Jaron Jackson Jr. showing out his defensive prowess. Okay, that's all five. I'm going to run another flop here. Dyson Daniels. Dyson Daniels. Dyson Daniels with most of our points here. Dyson Daniels, another three-pointer off the floppy early release. Jovic with the board. Jovic. 6'10". Jovic with the board. Ba I need you to cut, Wendell. He's on Shea Gildas Alexander. Wendell Carter ties it up. It is 10-10 apiece. Timeout OKC. I'm going to get Davion Mitchell and Precious Achua in here early. Get them some early minutes to get them cooking. Maybe get them a little warm. Davion, Kobe White had a phenomenal start, but I just want to get Davion Mitchell uh, some minutes, especially against this Thunder second unit. Theo Maladon's out there, so uh, they're giving Shea a break, so I'm going to give Kobe White a break. Okay, Theo Maladon, you're not getting that on Jaron Jackson Jr. Get it to Davion. Come on, Davion. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Back to Davion. Beautiful passing. Beautiful passing. Pick and roll with Precious. Precious. We get, oh, we get the inside edge. Precious Achua gives us the lead. <sighs> We're back in the lead here. Two-point lead for the Outlaws. Three minutes to play in this first quarter. Theo Maladon defended by Davion Mitchell. The two young studs cooking up. Illegal screen. Oh, Isaiah Roby picks up. Or no, Jaron Jackson Jr. picks up his first foul. It's a personal on um, Isaiah Roby. Now, OKC okay, with a full bench lineup out there. I'm going to take Dyson Daniels out. I'm going to bring in... Uh, Cole Anthony at the two. I'm going to bring in Jaden. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to make subs. I'm trying to make subs. I'm going to take Jaron Jackson. No, I'm going to leave Jaron Jackson Jr. out there actually for now. Um, him and Jovic are whipping it up right now. So those two are on really high stamina. So I'm going to leave him out there. Davion Mitchell, the six foot one young stud, slams it down. I didn't expect him to dunk it. I'm going to keep it real. When I see someone that's six one dunking, I get really jealous because in real life, I'm six four and I can't dunk. I can't even touch rim. So, yep, yeah. shit makes me feel like I'm underachieving because I'm three inches taller than them and I can't dunk and they're yamming it. Like this man, Eric Bledsoe, watching him dunk makes me so jealous, bro, because I'm three inches taller than him and I can't even touch rim. Shit's bonkers. Oh my God, Precious Achuo absolutely sends Baisley's shot to the moon. Ooh, pick and roll with Precious. Go up and get it, big fella. Go up and get it. Go up and fucking get it, big fella. Precious is on fire, bro. Nobody on this team can fucking guard Precious. Get me someone that can guard him. Bro, my neighbors are going to be so mad at me, bro. I'm fucking yelling at 2K, bro. I'm yelling at 2K because I'm hype. I'm mad hype, bro. Like, I feel like my neighbors are going to get so upset. Sorry, neighbors. I'm going to get Jaron Jackson Jr. a break here. Let's get in Robert Covington. Uh, Jovic is going to stay out there because he's still on 81% stamina. This man, Jovic, has the stamina of a marathon runner. Like I say in every episode, this man... His stamina is absolutely crazy. So when I see Wendell Carter Jr. as 60% stamina after three minutes of game time, I'm like, bro, what are y'all doing wrong? That this man, the rookie, Nikola Jovic, just has figured out. Like, what are they doing wrong? Oh, we get the pick and roll with Jaron Jackson Jr. Jaron Jackson on Baisley. Jaron Jackson gets the open post hook over Baisley. He gets at the ball and he ties it all up at 18s apiece. Theo Maladon bringing it up for the Thunder. Davion Mitchell pressing him at the half court. Theo Maladon to Baisley. Baisley wide open for three. Cannot get it to fall. Dyson Daniels with the board. 16 seconds left in this first quarter. I think I'm going to run a floppy here. Get Dyson Daniels a wide open three point look. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? The bro, that dude hit none of the screens. That dude, the, the defender that's guarding Dyson Daniels literally hit none of the screens. He did he did it again. He did it again. He hit none of the screens on the floppy. Regardless, end of one, we have an 18-point 18, 18 lead. What? It is 18s apiece. We're all tied up. All right, we have a full bench lineup out there as the Thunder bring out their starters. So we're going to get a pick and roll with Roko and Cole Anthony. Roko with the drop step on Roby. Roko steps through. Roby gets a contest. I'm going to bring the starters back into the game. Dyson Daniels is not going to be included in that lineup. Michael Porter Jr. is going to come in for the first time in this game. Oh, goaltending Precious Achua. 
we're going to get a full starting unit out there plus Michael Porter Jr. And because I can't go the whole game without Michael Porter Jr., even though it would be interesting, I don't think I could win a game without my man Michael Porter Jr. Oh my God, they're doubling Michael Porter Jr. So Jaron Jackson Jr. got the wide open roll to the rim. These two are yin and yang, bro. They are the perfect fit with each other. Jaron Jackson Jr. can shoot the three. He can shoot the midi. He can get it done at the rim. They are yin and yang. Bro, breaking down this zone, like they're, they're I think they're in a 2-3 zone. I haven't really been looking at it. I just assume they're in a 2-3 zone because they're giving me the mid-range shots, but I'm being too scared to shoot the mid-range because I know I'm not too great shooting with Michael Porter Jr. in the mid-range. Like I'm good with like other guys like Middleton, Kevin Durant. Like I'm good with them in the mid-range, but Michael Porter Jr., I just can't seem to get it done consistently in the mid-range. So they give me the look and I'm scared they're going to get like a 30% contest. So I pass it on the roll. And then they get a passing lane steal, which is tough. I just need to get more comfortable uh, shooting that mid-range. Roby defended by Jaron Jackson Jr. to Dort. Dort defended by Jovic. Jovic played every minute but like two in this game. And he still has 80% stamina, which is why I'm so happy to have Jovic on this team, bro. Let's get a pick and roll with Jaron Jackson Jr. Roby. Ah, oh, Giddy just gets around the screen. Giddy gets around the screen like it was a little toddler. Come here. Come here. Come here. Jesus, bro. Giddy is... Giddy's making it tough to do anything. This man Giddy, can't, okay, there we go, Jaron Jackson Jr. This man Josh Giddy is just getting around every single screen. Shit is crazy. Shea Gildas Alexander left wide open. Jer oh, he drives right into Jaron Jackson Jr. Finds the wide open Lou Dort for three. Lou Dort selling his bag. I'm, I'm, I thought I had Jovic. I thought I had Jovic. Oh my God, it's Lou Dort. Lou Dort. Lou Dort, bro. Lou Dort, get none of my screens are hitting anybody, which is really frustrating. I don't know who you think you are. Who, who do you think you are, Giddy? You're not getting that on my man, Jaron Jackson Jr. You're not getting that. You don't get that. No. Michael Porter Jr. snatch back on Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy was getting through every single screen, but we get catch him lacking on a snatch back in transition. Michael Porter Jr. is on the board in his first three minutes of this Thunder affair. Kobe White fights over the Giddy screen. Michael Porter Jr. meets him at the rim. Wendell Carter with a block from behind. I'm so late on the commentary. I apologize. Giddy off the passing screen away. Giddy gets Michael Porter Jr. to jump. He runs right into our big man, Wendell Carter Jr. You cannot do that. We are too big of a squad, especially with Michael Porter Jr. at the two. Our squad is way too big to just be throwing shit up, bro. Michael Porter Jr. pull up midi. Oh, my God. We caught, uh, I think it was Isaiah Roby who was defending Michael Porter Jr., we got him crabbed. We had him behind us. So I knew we had that wide open look. We take a seven point lead. We take that jump into the second quarter. The Michael Porter Jr. effect. He comes in, scores five points, and now we're up two possessions. Borderline three possessions. Oh, it is three possessions. I'm tripping. Ha! So out of that timeout, I bring in Precious Achua and Jaden McDaniels will make his Outlaws debut against this Oklahoma City Thunder squad. Josh Giddy posting up Michael Porter Jr. I, I, have no, I have no clue how tall Josh Giddy is. I feel like he's 6'8 because he looks similar to Michael Porter Jr. in height and Michael Porter Jr. is 6'10. So I really wouldn't be surprised if he was 6'8. Shea Gilgis Alexander pulls a contested uh, mid-range J. Cannot stop our run with that shot. Jaden McDaniels pick and roll. Can we get Jaden McDaniels his first bucket as an outlaw? We can't. Derek favors in that passing lane. Shea Gill just bides us out there on that horrendous pick and roll with a foul. That bitch shit out of here, Darius Baisley. Fuck you think this is? Why didn't Jovic just grab that? God knows. But get that bitch shit out of here, Darius Baisley. This man thinks he's the shit or something. He thinks he's Kevin Durant or something. Who you think you are? DeAnthony Melton to Derek Favors. Derek, oh, I got a horrendous jump animation. It took him completely out of the play. Derek Favors cuts our lead from five, or four to two. Bro, this how are these bench players getting around screens like it's nothing? Michael Porter Jr. creating off the dribble in the mid-range. Michael Porter Jr. with seven, three for three from the field to start. As a team, we're playing really well. 59% from the field. A little rocky first quarter. Second quarter, we came out and we took this whole this game by what's the what's the word i don't know i don't know we took control of this game d'anthony melton gets ripped by jovic jovic they're causing oh they just wasted all their shot clock with that Jaden hardy with a three cannot get that one to fall michael porter jr in transition oh my god there's no way he just got that animation bro 
Ooh, Michael Porter Jr. for three. Oh, late release. Oh, I thought it was going to roll in off a late release. That would have been a big 2K buyout. Jaden Hardy gets it. Who do you think you are, bro? People keep testing us. They keep testing us at the cup. Like, this is who the fuck we are. We will send your shit. We have one of the best, if not the best, paint defense in this league. There's no way. Oh, my God. Precious fucking Achua. Oh, my God. Jovic, phenomenal contest on Theo Maladon. Precious Achua with the board. Michael Porter Jr. I want to keep creating with Michael Porter Jr. Oh, we get Precious, though. We get Precious on the PNR. Precious Achua with six points. I love Precious Achua in 2K. He is such a good player in this year's 2K. He has rim take now. 20, bro, we average 22 assists per game as a team. You know we, we be wheeling and dealing. We have the most assists per game in the NBA. Jaden McDaniel switches. Uh, I think that's D'Anthony Melton to Theo Maladon to Derek Favors. Good contest. Good contest. Precious Chua gets his third board. Oh, we got... Hold on. We got a mismatch. Get away, Precious. Go away. Go away, Precious. Let's fade baseline. Or not. Step through. Step through in reverse. Michael Porter Jr. A minute 23 left to play in this first half. Mike, Michael Porter Jr., bro. You can't be getting bitched by DeAnthony Melton. Michael Porter Jr. in the mid-range. He gets left wide open. Michael Porter Jr. is red fucking hot. His fifth basket of the second quarter. 11 points. He puts us into a 10-point lead. Absolute demolition of this Oklahoma City Thunder squad. Oh, my God. Theo Maladon. The 19-year-old young stud Theo Maladon showing why he is one of the future PGs of this league. Oh, why? Why are you sitting there, Kobe White? Let's get a pick and pop with Jaden McDaniels. There's no way Isaiah... Get off me, Isaiah. Wow, Isaiah Roby clamping up Michael Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. is going to get a rest now because he is exhausted. Dyson Daniels can come back in. Let's get Davion Mitchell at the one. Let's get Jovic a break. Let's get in. Uh, hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna have to rearrange this starting five, or this lineup uh, at halftime because it's, it's almost halftime, bro. I might as well not even make a sub. Might as well. Give me a floppy. Let's go. Let's go. Michael Porter Jr. off the floppy. Michael Porter Jr. Can we even get the wide open three-point look? No, because he's cracked and goes around every single screen. None of the screens are working. I, I chuck up a contested three with Michael Porter Jr. Ten seconds left in this first half. DeAnthony Melton posting up Michael Porter Jr. How do you think that's going to go for you, bro? We leave Jaden Hardy. And he misses wide open from three. We're going to chuck it with a second left. Oh, almost, misses, almost makes that one. We're up eight at halftime. Michael Porter Jr. took this game over in the second quarter. 11 points in the second. He is white hot. Let's go. Second half of basketball. We rearranged the starting five. Lou Dort. Lou Dort gets his shit set by Achua. We move around the start. We move around the lineup. We're going to take Jovic out. Move Jaden McDaniels from the four to the three. And then we're going to bring in Robert Covington at the four. And that is going to be our lineup for most of this third quarter. Because if we're being real, we're up eight points. So I'm not too concerned about um, our starters being out there because we're absolutely dogging these boys. We're dogging these boys. That's a horrendous shot. I'm going to keep it real. But we're dogging these boys. So I'm not too concerned about the starters being out there. But once they start making it the game, I'll bring the starters back out uh, right the fuck away. And I want Michael Porter Jr. to get to get some rest because I want to bring him in in this fourth quarter, especially if it's a close one. Darius Baisley contested jumper in the face of Precious Achua. What is he thinking? God fucking knows. Let's run a floppy. Run a floppy for Dyson. Dyson, Dyson vacuum, Dyson vacuum, Dyson, oh, Dyson, Dyson wide open for three, Dyson Daniels for three, that's gotta go in, bang! You really never see Dyson Daniels left alone on an island. He bangs that wide open three, pause, and extends our lead up to 11. Shea Gill just driving in on the undersized Davion Mitchell, but Davion Mitchell keeping up with him. Derek Favors to, oh, Jesus, Derek Favors to Dort to Giddy. Okay, okay, that was horrendous defense by me. Davion Mitchell with the ball. I'm going to get a screen from Rocco. Hopefully, I can get a wide open look. Oh, I wanted to do a little hezzy so I can get the wide open midi. Pull it with Davion. But we get ripped by Shea Gildas Alexander. Shea, Shea, defended by Mitchell. Checking him, checking him to Dort, Dort. Back to Shea. Oh, we, Derek Favors catches us lacking. He gets the backdoor cut from the hash. Okay, Davion Mitchell, call ISO. Call ISO. Get everyone the fuck out the way and get a precious screen to get Shea off you. <sighs> that was bad. His his jumper's really quick. I'm If I can get used to a quick jumper. A slow jumper's kind of hard to get used to. Rocco was straight up. I'm keeping it a bean. Rocco was hands straight up in the air. I... <sighs> There's no way that's a foul, bro. No way. The call stands. It's a I disagree. 
But I mean, that's why I guess that's why I'm not a ref. I want to bring Jaron Jackson Jr. back in the game for Robert Covington. I'm going to leave Dan McDaniels out there for a little bit longer. Davion Mitchell's still doing well, so we're going to leave him out there. Wendell's going to come in for Precious. We're going to just keep rotating this lineup out. The pick and roll with Davion Mitchell and Wendell Carter and fucking one. Wendell Carter Jr. gets the and one bucket on Shea Gilgis Alexander. The Thunder slowly whittled our lead away. But we're going to start pulling away with another one. Wendell Carter with a chance to make it a six-point lead. He does. Wendell Carter with five and six in this third quarter. Let's go. Wendell Carter. Oh, my God. I found Wendell Carter with a mismatch on Shea Gilgis Alexander. The big man beast down low. Davion Mitchell picks up his sixth assist of the game. I want I'm trying to score with Davion Mitchell, but the, the looks really just aren't there, bro. Like this Thunder defense, for whatever reason, is so cracked, bro. The looks just aren't there. Like I'm trying to get a screen, and then Shea just gets around it. Like I literally can't create looks. <laughs> like I just can't do any. I can't create looks for Davion Mitchell. That's why, like, when I have a point guard, even if he's supposed to be high scoring, I just I'm not a high scorer with them because I can't create looks. Because they're just getting through anything. Like, the, the defender's literally just getting through any screen. Jaron Jackson Jr. makes Shea Gildas Alexander look stupid. Eight points on the night for him. But, like, I, I get a screen. They get through it. I'm just like, I can't create with the point guard. So, I got to create for everyone else on the team. Like, that's just how it's been going. Shea Gildas driving in on Davion Mitchell to Giddy. Giddy. Screen from Derek Favors. Wendell's there. Giddy to Derek Favors. That's shot clock, bro. Shot clock, bro. Sh come on now. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to get a floppy. Dyson Daniels. Get him involved again. He has eight. He had eight first half points. I haven't gone to him in the second half. Jesus, bro. Dyson Daniels jump shot is not quick enough for that. Come on, bro. Hit the screen. I'm, I'm getting annoyed, bro. Hit the screen, please. His, his release is so fast. I feel Actually, I feel like I might be able to get something with Davion Mitchell contested because his release is so quick. I feel like in just a slight bit of space, I can get it off. Now that I'm defended by Wendell Carter Jr. We're up 10 with three minutes play in this third quarter. The arena is rumbling. Maladon, oh my God, runs right into Jaron Jackson Jr. And Wendell Carter Jr. gets his shit fucking sent. Davion, oh, slightly late. And they gave him 8% on that. Davion Mitchell cannot get going. He's cold. I'm going to bring Kobe White into the game. Kobe White's well-rested as well. Uh, give me Michael Porter Jr. at the 2, who should also be what... Can I, can I make the sub? Thank you. Michael Porter Jr. is going to come in at the 2. We're going to take Jaden McDaniels out for Jovic at the 3. And then I'm going to take Wendell Carter out for Precious at the 5. Oh, my God. Davion Mitchell's stats are so low right now because he's cold. Come on, pick and roll with Jaron Jackson Jr. We find him. Jaron Jackson Jr., easy. First player, or second player in double digits. 10 points for Jaron Jackson Jr. 10-point outlaws lead. Pass and screen away to Jaden McDaniels. Oh my God, Wendell Carter Jr. with a third quarter double-double. 11 and 10 for Wendell Carter Jr. Phenomenal outing from him. I ran a pass and screen away for Jaden McDaniels, but this they're getting to everything. I cannot get a wide open look off of anything. So I'm just going to have to feast on the pick and roll, feast on the floppies. That's just how it's going to have to go. Theo Maladon has to get checked by Wendell Carter Jr. Seven seconds. Theo Maladon pull up midi. Oh my God. 11th board of the night from Wendell Carter. Wendell Carter. I'm going to try to feed Wendell because he's hot right now. We get Wendell. Wendell, why aren't you rolling, bro? Okay, he's on video. He has Darius Baisley on him. I'm going to do a little drop step post hook. Oh my God. He shrugs off Darius Baisley like he's a little fucking kid. Get off me. Post up Wendell. Wendell. Is he being doubled? No, he's not. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. We're going to go to Jaron Jackson Jr. in the corner. Jaron Jackson for three. Slightly late. I need that out of you, Jaron. Okay, let's post up Jer uh, Wendell again. Are they going to double? They are. Oh, they're le they left Dyson Daniels. But they get the rip. That is fucking tough and annoying at the same time. Let's cancel our precious Achua sub. Keep Wendell out there because he's hot right now and they're doubling on post-ups. So, oh my God, they put a guard on him. Who are they going to double with? Who are they going to double with? Double Roby. Double Roby. That's a fu You fucked up. Wendell Carter, 78% contested by Jaden Hardy. Wendell Carter Jr. draws the foul coming into this fourth quarter. Wendell at the charity stripe. Bang. And he knocks down the second. 15 and 12 for Wendell Carter Jr. He is fucking white hot right now. Wendell Carter Jr. is the reason we have this 14-point lead. The Anthony Melton misses that long-range three. I'm going to get a pick and roll with Wendell because Wendell is on fire. We find Wendell Carter Jr. Why did he stop for the midi? Why did he stop for the midi? He had the wide open lay, bro. Come on. And that is going to be a miss from DeAnthony Melton at the buzzer. End of three. 
14 point outlaws lead wendell carter jr with a third quarter takeover let's cruise through this uh let's cruise through this win in this fourth quarter come on Baisley defended by Wendell Carter Jr. at the perimeter. Wendell is going to come out for Precious now that he lost take. Jaron Jackson Jr. is going to come out soon. Unless, you know, the Thunder are heating up right now. We might have to keep Jaron Jackson out there. Michael Porter Jr. going to be the ball handler for this fourth quarter. See if I can get some stuff going with him. Wendell, you got to hold that. Right when I was going to move around the screen, he lets it go. Michael Porter Jr. fading midi. Wendell on the glass. He gets the bucket to fall. They void the basket. Jaden Hardy picks up his second foul we have arrested michael porter jr so i'm going to try to feed him get him cooking get him white hot again let me get a screen to the baseline with pre precious you gotta hold it bro this man giddy is not doing that to fucking michael porter jr Jovich defending Shea Gildas Alexander. Jovich, one of our best perimeter defenders on the court right now. Shea gets the... Okay, Shea. Okay, Shea. He makes Jovich look stupid. Right when I'm gassing him up, 8-0 thunder run and now this game is a lot closer than i would like oh we get precious achua on the roll back up oh no giddy recovered and giddy gets a steal in the passing lane i should have just dunked it with precious what am i doing shay defended by kobe white shay shay oh we're gonna help with jaron jackson i'm helping with jaron jackson shay's not gonna get shit in the paint but Derek, nope, Derek favors isn't either. Okay, four on five fast break. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Snap. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Come here. Come here, Precious. They gave him 14% on that? Buggin, 2K. Buggin. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Come on. Come on. Get Precious a bucket, bro. Apparently, Michael Porter Jr. can't get a bucket, so I, fuck it. Fuck it. Michael, we're going to live and die by Michael Porter. Oh, my God. That was horrendous. Why am I shooting these, bro? Precious on Derek Favors. Five minutes to play in this one. We're up six. Um, we're, still, we're up six. We're still sitting pretty pretty good right now. Michael Porter Jr. on Giddy. Giddy. Giddy, you're not fucking like that, bro. You're not like that, Giddy. Get, get the fuck out of here, Shay. Get out of here, Shay. Get the fuck out of here, Shay. You're tripping. That was a good pass to Kobe White. Kobe White wide open in the corner for three. Bang! Five minutes to play a nine-point outlaws lead. Giddy to Shea Gildas Alexander. They need a huge fourth quarter. A huge last four and a half minutes to win this game. Shea Gil we can't leave Baisley. Don't leave Baisley. We'll leave Derek Favors, but don't leave fucking Darius Baisley. Jovich over the Derek Favors screen. We're here. We're in front of Giddy. Michael Porter Jr. with the steal. Michael Porter Jr., that's huge. That's huge. Step back or snatch back. Michael Porter Jr. So many players helping on defense. 30% contested. Michael Porter Jr. Can't get it to fall. Precious on Shea. This is not ideal. Shea, that's a, okay. Shea did some dumb shit. Shea did, Shea did some dumb shit. We got a mismatch. We got to post Precious up. Mismatch on Giddy. Precious, drop step. Precious, get your own board, bro. Come on, Precious. Let's fucking go. I'm going to bring in Wendell Carter Jr. for these last four minutes. Oh, Jaron Jackson Jr. is getting really exhausted. Ah, Jaron Jackson's tired. So is Michael Porter Jr. Dyson might have to come in for Michael Porter, but I'm not going to. Jovich on Dort. Dort. Baisley wrapping around. Jaron Jackson's there. Baisley. Baisley at the three-point line. Goes to Shea. Shea. Screened by, uh, Jesus, I'm losing names. <laughs> Shea Gill just, okay, Shea scores. That's the point. Shea scores. Oh, my God, bro. There's no way I wasn't able to move there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, my God. 31% covered. Hold on, bro. I got to look at this. 31% covered. He was way the fuck over there. And I faded. Like, he was way the fuck over there. I, 2K's tripping, bro. Michael Porter Jr. is going to come out. Give me Dyson Daniels. I, Giddy's clamping up Michael Porter Jr. in this fourth quarter. Charge. Ha. Wendell Carter checks back in for us. He's still pretty tired. 73% stamina, but I dead don't care. Oh my God. Jaron Jackson Jr. is a fucking beast. Darius Baisley. Jaron Jackson's there. Lou Dort for three. Okay. Okay. I'm getting more and more confident as the time winds down. Two and a half minutes to play in this fourth quarter. And we have a nine point lead. Dort do doesn't get touched by any of the screens. Come on. I need one screen. I just need a little bit of space. I need a little bit of space. Come on, Dyson. Come on, Dyson. 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 Ooh, Dort gets hit by some... No. Wow. Dort got touched by none of those screens. What the fuck? 
Shay. Kobe White's there. Jaron Jackson, I need you on the help. Shay Gilgis cuts our lead down to seven with two to play. Come on. Run it. Run the fucking play. What are we doing, bro? I ran a passing screen away, but they're not running it. Run the play. Run the play. Run the play. That's a deep one. Contested, too. <sighs> Dude, screens don't work. It feels like screens just don't work this year. And I, I have to adapt. I have to adapt to this year. I, I'm trying to run plays, but none of them are working. I'm going to have to try more iso ball. It might, be, it might be time for iso ball, even though they're clamping me with that, too. Giddy. Giddy. Defended by Dyson Daniels. I don't know what Giddy thinks he's doing, but Dyson Daniels is there. Runs into Wendell Carter Jr. Cannot get it to fall. Kobe White with his second board of the night. Push it in transition. Push the pace. Push the pace. Push the pace. Push the pace. Oh, we got a mismatch. Wendell Carter on Giddy. We got a mismatch here. Let me see. Drop step. Drop step. And one. <sighs> Fucking go. Wendell Carter Jr. just had an insanely long break. And he comes back in. And he gives us another double digit lead. Wendell Carter Jr. is a different fucking breed. It seems like we have three guys. Michael Porter Jr., Wendell Carter Jr., and Jaron Jackson Jr. That all can do whatever the fuck I need him to do. I'm going to post up Wendell Carter Jr. on Derek Favors. We get the post up. They're not doubling yet. They're not doubling. Probably because Derek Favors can actually guard. Oh, good cut. Good cut, Jovic. We get Dort in the air. Jovic. Jovic is on the board. He's been pretty quiet this game, but he's there when it matters. Jovic with the beautiful backdoor cut. And he catches Dort in the air. Catches him lacking for the bucket. Shea Gill just finds his way to the cup. He misses the dunk, but Baisley's wide open. Jared Jackson Jr. lacking in rotation. Oh. All right, I'm going to go to another post up here. We're going to post up uh, Wendell Carter Jr. Oh, oh, Wendell's already there. Wendell's already there. Oh, they leave Kobe White. They leave Kobe White for three. Open for three. Kobe White cannot get it to fall. We catch him lacking in rotation, but Kobe White cannot get the wide open three-point look to go. They serve it to him on a silver platter. Isaiah Roby left wide open. Cannot get it to go. We have a nine-point lead. Oh, that's it. That's it. I really, I thought that was... I, th I thought there was so much more time left. I really thought there was so much more time left. They're doubling. Kobe White wide open at the hash. Kobe White gets it to fall. Nine points for Kobe White. That extends our lead up to 12. One second, zero seconds. That is game, set, match. 12-point victory for the Las Vegas Outlaws. Kobe White showing off his shooting prowess. And this one is pretty close all the way up until the third quarter. And then we just ran away with the game. And then we cruised to a win in this fourth quarter. Really, really proud of the guys. Allie, take it away. Guys, thank you. Wendell, you were dialed in offensively. What was it that had you going? Uh, my teammates just been finding me in my right spots. Uh, you know, practicing my shots, taking my open shots, and, you know, just being confident. Thanks, Wendell. All right, Allie. So another huge win. We're going to look at the box score here. Wendell Carter Jr. Absolutely phenomenal. 18, 16, 4 assists, 3 blocks, 7 for 9 from the field. Absolutely crazy. Michael Porter Jr. on very low minutes. 13 minutes, but 11 points. Really proud of him. Jaron Jackson Jr. 10 points, 3 blocks. Another good game from Jaron. Kobe White was really solid. They were leaving him open on the doubles, so we found him. He knocked him down. 9 points. Dyson Daniels, 8 points. Really inefficient. But it is what it is. Precious Achua, 8-8-5. Eight, eight, he was absolutely phenomenal. Nikola Jovic didn't do too much, but he was he was there when I needed him. He played good defense, so uh, that's all I can really ask. And then Davion Mitchell really made me happy today with 7 assists on, in really low minutes. Oh, man, I am tired. Tired, tired, tired. How you doing? How y'all doing? Good game tonight, eh? What a game. First question. How would you describe Wendell Carter Jr.'s Dude, performance tonight? He was absolutely electric. He was white hot all night. I'm really, really happy for Wendell. Absolutely phenomenal performance from him. And on a night where um, Michael Porter Jr. wasn't feeling up to playing as many minutes, we had him on a minute restriction. Um, I really needed someone else to step up, and Wendell was that guy. Um, got the stats uh, here, so I don't have to give you false, <laughs> false stats. 18 points, 16 rebounds. Four assists, three blocks, and seven for nine from the field. So um, we really had him hunting mismatches. We would run that pick and roll with uh, Davion Mitchell and uh, or Davion and Kobe, and um, we would get him on a smaller guard or even when he was really feeling it. And we had him on Derek Favors and uh, Darius Baisley. It really, uh, you could tell he was feeling it. He was hunting. He was posting up, hitting the drop steps, shoving off the bigger defenders. Like it was really inspirational to watch. And four blocks or three blocks, sorry. 
on the defensive end. Um, it's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Another blowout win against a top-tier team. How do you think this will translate to the postseason? Of course. Um, I think... Um, I think it'll be pretty... I'm trying to think of a response here. Um, I think we'll just take that... Or we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, obviously, last season didn't amount to what we wanted it to be. We were first-round exit against the Clippers. Um, but this year we're in title contention, so it's a lot different. It's a way different um, atmosphere in the locker room. It's a way different at atmosphere when I meet with ownership and in the front office. So um, I really think it's a lot different. So I can't tell you 100% how it will translate, but I really think we play a style of basketball that um, it will, um, it really will uh, translate pretty easily. But I guess we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah. Why was Michael Porter Jr. on minute restrictions well, like, tonight? I, I know you guys asked a similar question uh, pre-game, but um, regarding Michael Porter Jr., um, right before the game, he did come into my office and we did have a conversation about it. He said he was feeling a little sluggish um, and he wanted a game where he could just play some slight minutes. So um, obviously you guys know now Dyson Daniels stepped into the starting five for tonight, which he did really well, eight points. Uh, really happy for him. But uh, Michael Porter Jr., Michael uh, just requested um, a minute restriction for the night. Didn't want to play too much, so uh, I honored his wishes as one of our top guys around here. So um, I just had Stephen or Steven, sorry, uh, play him last minutes tonight. And uh, obviously, we still came out with a big blowout win. We had other guys around him step up, like Kobe. We had Davion step up. We had Jaron. We had uh, Wendell. We had Precious. Um, I was uh, really, really, uh, really happy tonight. Yeah. Davian Mitchell was flying tonight. What would you attribute that to? Yeah, obviously, uh, I'm really, really happy for Davion. Um, really, really good game. It is only his like 20th game for the team, so I really think uh, he's settling in. And he didn't have a really eventful debut, but I think it just with all, a lot of players, it just takes takes some time to settle in, settle into a new city. Um, he moved from Sacramento to Las Vegas. We traded a decent, a decent package for him, so. I made sure he knew that he was wanted around here and uh, we had big uh, big aspirations for him. So um, I gave him the time he needed to settle in and obviously tonight seven assists off the bench. He really connected with Precious, he connected with Jaron, he connected with Wendell. Um, seven assists, he fed Precious eight points. So um, I definitely am really happy with Davion and um, I think I would just attribute it to him settling into a new environment and um, him really uh, becoming comfortable with the guys. All right, I got time for one more. You back there. How happy are you with your cinder rotation after tonight? Dude, it is so, so nice. Like, I have the stats here. Uh, Wendell, we already talked about Wendell. 18, 16, 4, 3 blocks, 7 for 9 from the field. But Precious, 8, 8, and 5 blocks. Like, Precious was absolutely crazy off the bench. Jaron Jackson Jr. was really good. I don't know if we're going to count him as a big man, but he's really good, um, as you guys know. Uh, Robert Covington, the veteran of the squad, the only guy on the team over 30 years old. Uh, we call him the old man out back, but um, Robert Covington obviously didn't play too much tonight because you're really rotating in and out, but Jaden McDaniels played a lot of power forward minutes tonight, and I was really happy with his debut, but like Davion Mitchell, I expect him to get better as he settles in with the team, settles into a new city. Obviously, he moved a lot farther than Davion, Davion Sacramento to Vegas. He moved from Minnesota to Vegas, so it's going to take a little time for Jaden to set in. But uh, yeah, to answer your question, I'm very, very happy with the center rotation. That it feels a lot nicer only having two centers. Um, obviously, no dock to our old center, our four-man center rotation, but um, it's a lot nicer to only have to manage uh, two egos at the big man position. Um, all right, thanks. Appreciate it. All right, so that is another W in the books. And since we have no All-Stars, I'm going to skip right past All-Star Weekend. I think I'm happy with my current squad. We are, we're obviously the one seed in the Western Conference, but Michael Porter Jr., Jaron Jackson Jr., Jovich, Kobe White, and Wendell. Phenomenal starting five. We got a good bench in Cole Anthony, Davion Mitchell, Precious, Jaden McDaniels, Rocco, Dyson Daniels, uh, Jared Vanderbilt, and Lou Will. If Lou Will's our 13th man, you know that's a good team. Like, come on. I'm going to skip to the contract extension deadline. Um, we're going to sim right past the trade deadline because I'm happy with the team. Um, and then I'm going to go to the contract extension deadline. And then we're going to try to extend some contracts. So it's contract extension deadline time. And we have a ton of guys who are eligible for extension. Kobe White wants to test free agency. 
He wants 23 million per year. Precious Achua, uh, he doesn't have a status. He wants $17 million. We have his bird rights, though. Jaden McDaniels also is a free agent. Um, I don't know why it's a status none. Like, I can't offer him a contract, which is weird. Um, Kobe White wants to test free agency, which is sad, but I feel like we can still get him back because we have his bird rights. Um, I want to bring back Precious and Jaden as well, but we'll see in the offseason. I'm going to take a look at these standings, see what team we want to play next. We fall to the two seed in the Western Conference. Do I have a game against the Pelicans coming up? I don't play the Pelicans for the rest of the season. I think I'm going to play this Tampa Bay Panthers game. I want to play my rival. We got to skip contract extension deadline. Um, we're going to play on the Tampa Bay Panthers in the next episode. Come on, Sim. Sim, Sim, Sim. Okay, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Simulate through date. We beat the Hawks. We beat the Nuggets. We're back in winning form. Three-game win streak. We lose to the Cavs, though. We beat the Clippers. We beat the Nuggets. We beat the Kings. We beat the Rockets. Okay, we're, we're, we're winning a fuck ton of games. Um, I'm pretty confident we can still finish with the one seed, even though that's not too important. But in the next one, we're going to play the 36 and 35 Tampa Bay Panthers, who are really, really bad. So I feel like we're just going to bully them. 2K keeps fucking with my rotation. So we're going to have to fix that. Um, for whatever reason, they don't have Jovic starting which i keep fucking with this like i keep changing it i keep put making jovic start but they keep changing it uh even though i have jovic is gonna start like 2k needs to stop fucking with my rotation like real shit real shit i keep hitting uh just manually but they keep messing with my rotation and wendell carter jr is gonna be injured for the next one which is gonna be tough but i think we can uh we can survive and if you did enjoy, as always, make sure you show some love down below. It's free. It only helps the channel grow. This one was really long, an hour and 17 minutes of recording. Jesus, that's a long one. Um, but yeah, if you watched all the way through, you're beautiful. I love you. Um, yeah, that's it. Peace.